Let's get as up to speed as we can on the situation in Paris, the Paris massacre, the attacks at Charlie Hebdo, the satirical magazine. Uh, the manhunt continued for the two brothers that were believed responsible for the massacre at the Paris France office of Charlie Hebdo. Another gunman took hostages at a kosher supermarket near Port de Vincennes. Police conducted simultaneous raids in the two locations. Three terrorists were killed. Some hostages were injured or killed, and French President Francois Hollande confirmed that four hostages were killed in the supermarket, and the prosecutor said that they were killed before the police intervention. There is a, a potential additional suspect that is still considered to be on the run. The Port de Vincennes terrorist was in telephone communication with the Kouachi brothers, which were the two at large suspects from the original Charlie Hebdo shooting in Paris, the latest numbers and these numbers are quickly evolving and we're doing the best we can to keep up with the latest information are that a total of 20 people were killed at four locations between the 7th and 9th of January, including three suspects. At least 21 others were injured, some critically, and this marked the deadliest terrorist attack in France since 1961 when there was a train bombing. Uh, by the OAS on nine on the 9th of January, Ahmedi Koulibaly, armed with two AK-47 assault rifles, entered and attacked a hyper kosher kosher supermarket at Port de Vincennes in East Paris, killed four people, all of whom were Jews, and took several hostages. He had a female accomplice speculated to be his wife, and I believe Lewis that at this point. That is the lone outstanding suspect, but the information is changing so quickly. It is quite a series of events. Um, it's uh, really unfortunate, but uh, I guess we can find some solace uh, in the fact that they got the majority of the people they were after here. Yeah, and uh, my, I, I don't know why, but I would really prefer that more of these situations not end with the suspects dead before there can be. Uh, before, first of all, there can be a debrief of some kind so we can more understand rather than having to figure out from sometimes the, the seldom left manifesto what it was that led up to and, and resulted in these heinous acts and also so that can, they can be brought to justice. And of course, I'm not saying I would have rather them not be killed and allowed to kill more people. That is not at all what I'm saying, but merely that so often we never really get to have any kind of debriefing of, of who these people are and what and why this took place, which I think may be useful in preventing incidents like this in the future. Perhaps. I think, of course, in this individual case, uh, it's pretty clear why they uh, attacked the Charlie Hebdo, um, the supermarket, uh, who those other people were, how they were all related. I'm sure we'll figure all of that stuff out, but uh, certainly, yes, if, if they were captured alive, there would be valuable information to extract. And we do know some of the connections because it was later confirmed that the gunman at the kosher supermarket was also the gunman in a shooting in Montrouge that occurred the previous day. That's the shooting that left a female police officer dead. So we certainly know that there was this connection operationally. Uh, but certainly ideologically, we can guess as to what the connection was there. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really take a genius to figure that out. Uh, but certainly there would be much more to be learned.